Well, mate, you were, you were concerned, weren't you, that we were breathing down your neck and we, we might have got you. Oh, definitely. Um, there's a few nervous boys getting around. We weren't sure what the journos had up their sleeves, but uh, yeah, there's a few nervous guys that uh, thought they might have got beaten. But it was a fantastic idea by Canterbury to invite you guys down and, um, you know, being the, our new apparel sponsor, it decked you guys out some nice kits as well. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you understand what we go through a little bit each day. So, so good you think morning. it's a group we've performed above your expectations, below what you thought? Well below? Um, no, I thought you guys were all right. I mean, as long as you weren't in front of me, I didn't really mind. So, But uh, now looking back, I think it's a pretty tough distance. Um, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but uh, you know, you guys, I think, performed pretty well, given the circumstances. How do we go on the skin folds, mate? I don't know, do you want to check? <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling, mate? How are you going for early December? How are you tracking? Yeah, going well. I um, had a shoulder operation end of October, or sort of middle of October, um, and tracking really well from that, and um, I don't miss any of the running, which is a good thing. It's something I need to work on, and um, I think I'm as good as I've been, sort of thing, so, you know, it's, it's only December, and go away for Christmas, and when we come back um, in the new year, we'll get ramped right up into the footy stuff, and uh, away we go, and it's a good time of year. You've got a bit of a hard time over the years through endurance, which is something that's a bit over the top. How do you think you've gone about addressing that? Now, you basically, did you address it last year, and you think you, you've got as good as you can, you can possibly do? Yeah, obviously, I think things with endurance are not something that you can do overnight. It's not going to be improved overnight and I think uh, with myself I've worked at it since I've come into the system and each year I've improved so it's not going to be this year it's going to be fixed sort of thing. It's definitely going to be over the next few years I'll keep working on it. It's going to be something I have to work on for the rest of my career but I've definitely improved it to a level that I can compete at the AFL level which is good but um, like any footballer you've got areas to improve on and, and that's just an area I've got to keep working on. Did you like your extra work? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, there's a few guys at the club who, who tr all try and work in the same areas, and then we, you know, get together and, and do some extra work, uh, some extra running and cross training and stuff like that. But you know, it's part of the business. Is you work on your, your weaknesses, and you know, you keep continuing to develop your strength as well. So um, that's part of football, and you know, that's something we enjoy doing. Just with Hawthorne, Sydney, and maybe even Port Adelaide, how do you bridge the gap to those sides? I mean, is there a natural improvement that's going to get it done, or is it more the guys you brought in, like your Jared Waits and, and the risk uh, needs that you brought in? Yeah, obviously there's a few areas where you need to improve um, on as a team from last year. Um, I think guys like Jared Waite and Sean Higgins coming into the team will definitely help that, but we've got to develop as a group uh, and improve a lot more um, from last year. You know, Seeing our prelim final loss against Sydney, I think that's a, a true indication of where we're at last year and um, obviously we've got a, a lot of work to do over the pre-season and in the coming year and I think the biggest thing for us will be our consistency, making sure that we perform week in, week out and I think that starts in pre-season, making sure that you train at a, at a high intensity um, day in, day out. And I think so far the boys, have, to their credit, have been really good. For those of us di who didn't do it, Jack, how hard was that second 2K? <laughs> yeah. well, the legs are a little bit heavy in the second one, but uh, you know it's just something you've got to get through. And um, I think a few of the boys ran some pretty good times, and that's all you can do is just get through it. Do you marvel at a guy like Sam Gibson? I mean, he flies around here. Yeah, he's got a, a fair endurance base, but his um, ability to run at a, a high speed for a long period of time is, is phenomenal and um, blows my mind that he can run those sort of times and um, at that pace for that sort of distance as well. And I think you guys probably have a bit more of appreciation as well when you see it in, in live action. Um, but, you know, that's, that's his game day role is to run and he runs really well. So um, each guy plays a different role and um, we all try our best. Have you noticed any change so far in terms of the pre-season? Has there been an increased volume of running? Anything you're doing differently to previous years to sort of deal with the, the way the game's going? Um, I think this year we've done a bit more game sense earlier on, um, partly because of the shorter pre-season as well with um, not starting till December 1. Um, we've got to sort of cram a little bit more into the pre-Christmas block. Um, but other than that, I think most of the most is pretty similar. But obviously the game changes every year and um, you sort of won't know how much it's changed until round one of NAB Cup when teams play each other. So we're going to try and develop as best we can and, um, in the pre-season um, over training and, and we'll get an indication of where we're at come NAB and, and round one. You had some success up forward this last year, Jack. Uh, wh who do you train with this, this pre-season, midfield or, or forward group? I'd love to train with a forward group, but uh, no, I'm definitely a midfielder still um, with just yeah the ability to go forward at times if needed. But yeah, definitely see myself as a midfielder and spend most of my time in there with the inside guys and, and working my craft in there. Thanks, 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 Thanks. Thanks.